Hey guys, thought I'd try something a little bit different. Uh, today I wanted to tell you about a battery charger I bought. So. Okay, so here it is. This is the battery charger I was talking about. It just says Suter with some IP or it's like, you know, some Chinese characters. The Suter fat, Smart Fast Charger Sun 1206D. And it just completed charging this battery. It's at 100%, it's at 13.7 volts. It's one of my deep cycles uh, from my sailboat. Now these two I run as a battery bank in my Catalina 27. So anyway, I've been loving it. Right now this is done. So it's telling me the voltage of the battery is now 13.7 volts. It's at 100% state of charge. And over here it tells you how many amps it's putting in, which right now the amperage is zero because it's done. The ability, I've got uh, two other chargers, and I guess I could show you. But I have one that I call my supercharger, which is like from the 1980s or 70s or something. I don't. It's just old. I didn't buy it. I think it was. It was basically grandfathered. Well, not grandfathered. It was given to me by. It was my father's before me, and so it just charges. You turn it on, pump six amps into it forever, which is great. Uh, but it also can bake your battery. This one. It will start out at six amps, and then as it gets, the battery is more completely charged, it reduces the amperage so it doesn't bake it out. Also, it'll increase the voltage it needs to get it to full charge. The other thing is it'll flip in between, you know, capacity and the voltage it's pumping in, so you can see both things happening at once. And uh, I gotta cut to the price really quick. That was a big factor for me, right? Always doing stuff on the cheap. This battery charger was only $14.25, and that was with shipping. So by far, it was like one of the cheapest chargers I could find, but it also gave me the most detailed information. So I'm gonna switch it to the next battery, which is not fully charged, and I'm gonna show you what it's like. So here we go. So it's totally off. One little thing I thought was neat is if you put it on without you know, plugging it in or anything. There. So right now the battery charger isn't even plugged in, but it gives you, it tries to give you a base concept of what voltage we are at. So right now, it don't believe the 100% charge, but the 12.3 is what it's reading. I'll get a multimeter. <laughs> This is not an advertised feature, so if it doesn't do good on this, I'm not too worried about it. But here we've got, let's see what our multimeter says we actually have on the battery. And it's around 12.3, which is what this says. So, sort of a nice little feature. I mean, you can sort of tell what state of charge it has on it just by, you know, attaching it. Okay, so after we get that done, better pull on the meter. we're going to plug it back in. As soon as we plug it in, it starts working. So this 35, 13.5 is the voltage. It's starting to ramp up the voltage. This is how many amps it's putting in six amps because it was pretty dead 12.3 is not great now it's saying that it's 45 it'll start basically it first starts getting a gauge of what the battery is at its capacity so it'll bounce between percent charged and voltage on this one back and forth back and forth now it's saying 50 back and forth back and forth this one it's going to keep it at six until it thinks it's got enough juice in it that it'll start drawing it back down so now it says it's 55. now both you and i know what's not jumping it from you know 30 to 55 in a matter of seconds in this video but rather that it's just still trying to get a concept of what state of charge the battery's at it'll stabilize in a little bit where it won't move hardly at all so this is it it's gonna go and go and go and go until it is full and it'll start dropping down the amps once it feels like it's getting close to where it needs to be i'm gonna see if i can get a time lapse of it so you guys can watch it go when I when I first did this one this one was at 11.7 volts so really dead and 
this was able to take it up, I don't know how many hours, but I just left it on overnight. Wake up the next day, totally full, totally charged. It was great. And it's actually worked on really, really dead batteries as well. Um, my other smart charger that I have, I don't like because it won't charge dead batteries. And that's really stupid. That's the whole reason I have it. It only charges slightly discharged batteries. So if it's below, let's say 11 volts, it won't charge it. Whereas this one, I had a battery that was basically at 7 volts, and it brought it all the way back up to 12. So, anyway, been really, really pleased with it. Um, if you're looking for a battery charger that's cheap, I mean 14 bucks, I think I've seen them going for 25 but I found a good deal on it. Um, I'll try to put the link to where I bought it from, um, just in case you are looking for one too. And uh, I hope this video helps. If you do get this charger and it treats you bad or good, you know, feel free to let me know. I can't do anything about it, it's not my product, but always interested in your feedback. You guys have a great day.